Hello everyone and welcome to a new game. So we're gonna create a new oh, right now. This game is called Lava Mortis. I don't know too much about it, I just know. And I've played about 15 minutes. Um, so we're gonna start. Welcome to the agency. Our organization is dedicated to the investigation of supernatural events. <clears throat> In the constant pursuit of unnatural evil creatures, we operate secretly and out of reach of the wall of mortals. You start here in the map room, where we keep track of our operations envelopes on the map, or making or marking missions around the world. Click them to get more details and the options to play. Watch the small notes on the map; they will remind you of crucial missions you must fulfill in order to win the campaign. Uh, one note: a trip to France is already there. We have serious information that needs further investigation, but you are too it inexperience to undertake that this extremely dangerous mission. You must gain some basic monster hunting skills first. Please take care of several regular missions before you t turn your attention to this main quest. In the bottom in the menu at the bottom of the screen there's a also access to other rooms of the agency. You can inspect equipment in the armory and also visit our laboratory where specimens of killed monsters and magical artifacts are stored. Okay. So this is the storyline quest. So let's go to Bohemia. Bohemia. Kill the mastermind. Okay. All right. This is your first mission. Now to get your hero through the spooky place and fulfill the task assigned to you. F1 to get complete help on controls. F2 to get help on screen indicators. Uh, Q to get quick task information. Find the monster and kill or find and kill the boss monster. So this has got a kind of twin stick shooter aspect to it. So it doesn't control like the twin stick shooters I'm used to. So here we are, this character. We are armed with a gun. We happen to have 116 shots. Ah, it suffers from that input bug. So we're gonna, as we kill monsters, we'll get points, which are our experience in this. You know what? We're switching to the sword. I've cleared my first room. Hmm. Okay, that's just saying I can sort of farm rooms for higher points. Alright, you have received your first power bonus. Bonuses give you extra power and their effects last over a period of time. Okay, so I got a key. So yeah, twin stick sort of feeling to it. Um, it's a sort of paranormal investigation. Ooh. Armor. So, our goal is to kill as many of these monsters as we can without dying ourselves. Good ammo. We have TNT. Is not exactly useful. Alright, health pickups and. Uh, skill pickup. Or skill point. Okay, so let's go over here. Two free points. I'm gonna put them in observation and regeneration. And that appears to be. Oops. What I like best. Observation gives me more experience for killing a monster. Here's that I've found the boss room. So. I do apologize if the clicking is very loud. But. So I'm going to start leveling Observation and Constitution. Or Regeneration, rather. So I can regenerate my wounds. Beware they are coming. Next wave. Love. Okay, we're going to... Yeah, no, I know. Zombies are ideal for fight... Or shotguns are ideal for fighting zombies. Uh, I have, in the 15 minutes or so that I had played before recording this, I got a... Got a shotgun, and it was pretty awesome. Alright, room cleared. No, that wasn't the boss room. 
Now I see where the boss room is. Right, we're gonna quick go here. And we're gonna try our best to just clear out all the rooms. And the gun is actually good at killing the zombies. Oh, fast walk. Armor, extra damage. Okay. Gun is killed at killing zombies because the zombies are slow, but it's kind of difficult to kill anything that moves fast, you know. Bats, uh, the spiders. Also, there is contact damage, which is good to know. All right. No power up spawned from that. All right. And you can hit R to reload. Alright, here we go. We got skeletons. Me TNT, so I can't just mass clear. I'm gonna pick up the health drop. <clears throat> Alright, so this is pretty much the gist of the game, but I plan on following it through the storyline, making a let's play out of it. Picked this game up on Steam for 49 cents. Oh, should have reloaded. Yeah. Game was 49 cents on Steam. It was on an extreme sale. I got this in Super Sanctum TD, which was 39 cents. But, you'll see some of this, or you'll see some of this interspersed, uh, mostly as I record it. Okay. There we go. He's dead. No equipment found. It was a four minute clear. Okay. So we are, we are not level two yet, so we can't go, I did that, let's see, yeah, let's go break the curses on the location, okay, let's go this way, so there are various types of mission objectives, sometimes it's just clear out all the enemies, sometimes it's kill the boss monster, break the curse, uh, retrieve the artifact was the other one that I had seen, but I did not actually do that mission. Uh, there's some uh, protect survivors, stuff like that. So it does add a little bit of interest to it. So I mean, for all its simplicity, it's still got a fair amount of depth with, and as far as I can tell, the, the random missions are procedurally generated. I, like, I've never seen this layout of floors. Right, so we're going to need to destroy all of those. Alright, that's one of two cursed altars. Or, altars. Right, it looks like there are six possible bonus upgrades. still. Huh. That's weird. Whoa. Alright. There's my first death. You know what? Let's go do... Um... I like how I died on the one star difficulty. Or one skull and crossbow difficulty. Yeah, hmm. kill the mastermind. And it'll start us with a hundred ammo, which is pretty good. But tip of the day: don't stand next to exploding barrels. Alright, armor pickup, pretty good. Uh, double score, also very good. It's gonna help us get. Oh, there we go. Helped us gain another level. 
And it's a shotgun. Okay. Alright, we're going to put another point into observation. We're going to close out of here. And we're going to go into the side room. And we're going to try and get... Yeah. So unfortunately, the, the weapon sounds aren't as... Uh, as satisfying as they could be, but, you know, overall it's, it's still been fun. I'm enjoying my twin stick zombie killing. Although it's not conventional, it's not what I think of as conventional twin stick fighting. Because it doesn't do the, the Isaac style wazd and arrow keys to... Oh, I did have to go in there. Wazd and arrow keys to move and fire. I do have to use the mouse to to rotate and fire. Room clear. That's one way to clear a room. Beware they are coming. Ideally I want more shotgun ammo, but like that. And ideally, you just want to keep moving. But, you know. This is normal twin stick sort of stuff. Oh god, leave me alone. So if I am doing this correctly, you guys will see this alongside La Mulana. Um, this will come out probably an hour after La Mulana. So I'm going to try and get back to two Let's Plays a day. Except for Sundays, which is either... No Let's Plays, or a round of. I did get this game originally to be a round of. Okay. Shotgun's doing a number on this boss. There we go. And that's the end of the, uh, the level. Okay. Alright, so we can do the storyline mission. I have to find an artifact stolen by five adventurers. I was given a tip of the whereabouts of one of them. He should be hiding in a small manor in the French countryside. We were contacted by a strange man, a nobleman somewhere from Eastern Europe. How did he find out about our agency? That is unknown. The stranger told us a weird story about an ancient artifact that was in possession of his family for centuries. It was safely buried in the dungeons of a remote ruined castle that belonged to his family. Recently, a group of five treasure hunters sneaked inside and took the artifact. Now they, and all around them, are in grave danger. The old family heirloom contained a relic during, created during the Dark Ages of the 14th century, when the Black Death spread, upon, or spread across Europe. It is connected to a strong and destructive magic. The relic must be retrieved before its powers find a way to corrupt the souls of the un, unaware adventurers. The nobleman had one clue about one treasure hunter's locations. One of the men seems to live in a small manor in the French countryside. That's the first place I must visit. Okay, I am in the manor entry or entrance hall of the manor. It's necessary to find the owner and ask him about the ancient artifact. The interior looks deserted for ages, but it sounds from but sounds from the other room suggested it to be occupied. But by what is the question? Okay, so we're gonna start out here. And we're gonna go. This is as far as I've gotten in my personal playthrough. I haven't played any more than this. I think I got into this room and then quit out. So let's go ahead and see. Room cleared. Alright, we're going to go over here to the left. Oh! Do wheel pistols. Okay, that's a solid object and not something I can... Room cleared, give me the key. And I get a skill up. Alright, regeneration. Oops, escape doesn't close that menu. So we're going to head over to the right, just to be thorough. I think I 
might be even more inaccurate with the dual pistols. Alright, room clear. And one last room on this way. Ah, oh, it's a stock room. Room cleared. Okay, I don't need those health pickups, so I probably shouldn't squander them. In case I do need them later on. Oops. Beware they are coming. This would be, you know, a place where I might not, or might need, Ooh, skill up. Room cleared. Oh, no, it's not a skill, it's just points. That's right. Okay. Let's regenerate some health. And fully reload. Alright, let's go. God, I'm horribly inaccurate with the pistols. Room cleared. And I got a dynamite. Ah, oh, fast walk. Okay. I found the owner of the manny, his manor. His body was heavily decomposed. Apparently he committed suicide. I found a diary. The diary rec records were chaotic and incomplete. The man belonged to a group of five treasure hunters. These well-situated men traveled around the world and sought treasure. A few months ago, they somehow got the ancient relic on one of their campaigns. However, I found no details about the campaign in this diary. Yet something strange happened. For reasons unknown, they broke the relic into five pieces, and each one of them took one part to a different corner of the world, promising to never contact each other again. One hour man landed in France. But even the broken part of the relic seemed to bring a curse on its owner. Monsters started appearing everywhere he tried to hide. The man himself was changing in mind and body. Finally, he lost the courage to go on and chose his fate. The poor man left his fifth artifact piece behind. What about the others? No one should contact anyone else from the Cursed Brotherhood, but someone sent word nonetheless. Now I know of this man hiding in North America. I have to collect the rest of the broken relics before it brings more loathsome things into this world. Oh. Okay. Story mission one done. So we get the next story mission. However, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Larva Mortis.